My desk at the moment is super messy because I had to do this activity for 
uh, stop motion and we were working with paper this week so there's just so much paper on my table and I'm not in the mood to like clean it up so we're on the floor today I'm gonna show you this it's not a massage thing it's just a box I use to store washi tape I've been trying to organize them better I guess put them in these thingies. I don't have the space to really display them in a nice way. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was gonna talk about um, before we like get into what I've been reading and what I've been watching recently. I'm just gonna answer a question um, someone asked me regarding art block. I do make art not only for myself but for school and sometimes I have to use my creative juice for work as well. This person asked me like, you know, the creative juice thing, like how do I distribute that into each category of my life that needs it? There's really no specific way I I guess handle it. What I've noticed, well at least with me, I get art block when I expect a good outcome. <laughs> so when it doesn't go my way, I kind of like I fall deeper into the art block. I don't have like really any specific tips. I just kind of go through it, like let it happen. I know that sounds kind of weird. I try to do other things that help stimulate my creativity without drawing. Hold on. What washi tape should I do next? I'm not sure. Hmm. I would like distract myself with let's say journaling or this you know like I do other things that take my mind off drawing now I don't think I'm completely in an art block um, I am kind of tired of drawing because I've been drawing a lot for school lately I do have like certain ways in how I prevent art block if you are anything like me, then you might have days when you really just want to draw. Like, you just have so much motivation to draw. Most of the time when I get that feeling, I just draw and draw and draw and draw and draw until I get so tired and I fall into an art block because of the you know, burnout. So what I do is I kind of like manage that motivation for example if i want to finish this illustration today because i'm like just so hyped the details i save those for the next day so that motivation continues the next day you know what i mean does, does that make any sense i'm hoping i answered your question things i've been reading um i haven't read a single book since um the last time i mentioned a book i'm in a reading slump if it's not obvious these cars i've been reading a lot of mangas though with titles that i have no idea how to pronounce actually all of them were recommended by you guys um some of them were from instagram and some of them were from the comments of old videos um one of them is level 999 something something i'm gonna put it on screen because i do not know how to pronounce it it's a little spicy though which i like like it's not too spicy but it's just just spicy enough act like you love me it's about this really handsome celebrity whose life is controlled by this teddy bear but anyway a girl gets her hands on this teddy bear and she for some reason ends up becoming his manager because of a job application mistake it's like an awful description but it's really fun thank you so much to the person who recommended it to me devil number four i know the title might seem like it's not a romance but it is um my best friend told me to read this it has like so many chapters which is great because it's done i just can't stand waiting for new chapters and new episodes of things that's mainly why i haven't watched um spy x family spy family um i think that's all i read most of my days have been occupied by a k-drama called hospital playlist i'm sorry about my foot it just keeps showing up <laughs> I definitely thought that this wasn't gonna be something I would finish because I heard a lot of good things about this drama. I just didn't 
expect me to like it because I've watched a lot of dramas that have had really good reviews and just super loyal fans and all that and most of the time I just don't finish which is sad and unfortunate but this time it was, I'm just so pleasantly surprised it's really just about five surgeons who were college friends and they we're in a band together. Then that's it. I don't know. They're like a family. I want to like hang out with my friends when I'm 40, just like they do. But I have a feeling that um, everyone's gonna have families by that point. I have no idea where I'm going. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I watched everything everywhere all at once. It's such a good movie. It's so weird, first of all. And it's so confusing if you don't know anything about it. It's so metaphorical. The story or the message at its core might be cheesy. It's great and I cried a lot. I don't really want to talk about what the movie's all about because I feel like it's good to go into it not really knowing anything. Oh, I watched Love is Hard for Otaku, I think that's what it's called. It has like 12 episodes, it's super short. It's a shoujo. It's about just otaku co-workers. I watched Love, Death, and Robots or Love, Death, Robots. Not everything because if you didn't know, every episode of Love, Death, Robots has like a different storyline. They're just short films compiled into a series. I guess kind of like Black Mirror but shorter and animated. I just want to talk about like that last one from the latest season because one of my friends, you might know him if you're an artist, he just kept talking about it. I was like okay I'm gonna watch it. I liked it yes because it's art and messages and metaphors and all that and really good CGI but it definitely scared me a little but I think that's the point of Love Death Robots. Um, every single episode is kind of creepy. What else am I gonna talk about? <laughs> oh, I want to talk about Hospital Playlist again. It's so good. I've been so happy the past few weeks because of this show. I even made like a list of things that just make me happy because I want to have like, you know, we all obviously want to have more good days going off on a tangent. I wrote down every single thing that made a good day for me, if that makes sense. And I try to do at least five or most of those things within the day. And no one told me to do that. I just kind of did it on my own. I'm not sure if that's a thing. I don't know. But it's, it's been working out really well and I'm kind of anxious about it. It's so weird. I'm anxious about everything, but I can say that I really am happy at the moment. Little anxious still, still sleep deprived and all that, but I've been having happier days or okay days at least. I've been taking my vitamins, I've been eating, so you know. Um, I'm very proud of myself. Oh, and I think I might post like another journal video because I haven't posted the journaling video in a while So I'm gonna try to do that soon. But anyway, um, thank you so much for watching um, I hope you've been taking your vitamins. I hope you've been drinking water. I hope you've been sleeping You know because we all need sleep. Sleep is great